Every day, three billion people living in the world's cities have to battle their way from point A to point B. Cities are exciting places to be, but as more people decide to live in them, getting around becomes increasingly difficult. The congested rhythms of drive times and rush hours have become part of our everyday lives. Of course, the better you know a city, the easier it is to find a way to avoid the jams and the hold-ups. But if you think it's just you choosing a route to work or even deciding whether to turn right or left, you're wrong. There are other forces at work manipulating traffic flows, influencing the route you take and even the speed you drive. Welcome to the dark arts of traffic control. It all starts with the traffic light. In Poole, on the south coast of England, traffic light manufacturer Siemens is developing ways to take the traffic light into the 21st century. Everything from super efficient lights to the brain of the traffic light, the circuit board. So why does a traffic light need a brain? Because they talk to each other. At this London junction, there is a traffic light. There's also a piece of wire buried just beneath the surface of the road. This wire forms a circuit. When traffic passes over it, a signal is sent to a box at the side of the road. The circuit board is counting the number of cars passing through the junction. And if the traffic gets too busy, it will allow for more green time to alleviate the congestion. This system is called Scoot, and it's monitored by the secretive traffic conductors of London. Introducing London's Traffic Control Centre, the LTC. Q Bridge is looking slow. Have we assessed what's going on at Park Lane? Between them and having those hands around. An incredible 21 million journeys take place across London in any one day. And though you may not realise it, these guys are managing every move using 5,000 traffic lights and 1,200 closed-circuit TV cameras positioned all over the city. With them, traffic can still be pretty sticky, but without them, gridlock. And today, they've got to cope with disruption caused by the largest street festival in Europe. One million people have descended on Notting Hill. All the roads in the area have been closed. A lot of traffic has had to be diverted. And that has the potential to cause havoc. It's a massive headache for the LTC. We don't have much to do with the actual event. We are managing the network outside the event. The controllers monitor where the traffic that would have gone through Notting Hill is actually going. When they spot the hold-ups, they go into action. To keep the traffic moving, they radio instructions to the traffic cops all over the city, freeing up traffic flows here and tightening them up there. Londoners think driving through the city is frustrating enough as it is. Without the traffic controllers, it would be a lot worse. At least that's what they say.